what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks you can learn for to get better at warships every single season simply by learning a few key skills that apply to i say every season plus i've got some top tips for you and make sure you stick around because right at the end of the video i'm going to give you a list of places that you can join to follow like the best players in the world and i'm talking like all the players you see on the leaderboard the top of the global leaderboard and stuff like that on the reg I will tell you where you can join to follow those players to see how their seasons are progressing. Just to give you a little bit of a heads up of what might be coming up in the season for you as well. So stick around and stay tuned. We're going to jump into it right now. All right, then, guys, like I said, main points of this one is the golden rule is to never, ever let your chest stay at 4-4. like leaving your chest to max out. The worst thing you can do is waste those, those chests and by leaving them staying at 4-4. By doing them at 4-4 like that, what happens is the more the more time that goes on, the more chests that you will lose. And as there is a limited amount of keys and tokens available each season, they are precious and you do not want to be wasting them by just by, you know, by not going inactive for long enough to leave them to go to 4-4 and then leaving them at 4-4 for an extended period of time. Don't want to be doing that. There are generally two uh, methods for playing warships. You've probably heard the terms base riding and tech riding. Base riding is where you would unlock all of the effective tech for the ER level that you are at. So if you're at three ER, um, you'd have already maxed out two before jumping to three, and then you'd be in the process of unlocking everything that's good at three ER, maxing it, saving some keys and some tokens before jumping to four, and so on. That's what's known as base riding. Tech riding is kind of the opposite to that, I suppose is where you uh, only select the effective tech that you need for the longer game. Um, so you'll be planning a lot more into the season about what's coming up and what the better tech is for like four and five and six ER and so on. Um, so you'd only, you'd only open um, like the bare minimum for each ER level, just the stuff that you need and then save your keys and tokens to jump onto the next ER. And the idea of this is to get as far into the tree as you can, as fast as you can to get to that better tech which is usually uh, bombardiers, heavy choppers, seekers, that sort of thing. You want to be trying to get to those key pieces of tech that's going to be part of the long game meta as early as possible. And the way to do that is by tech riding, only opening the things that you need and only upgrading those what you need that's going to be part of the longer game meta and to get you to that tech as fast as possible. Once you've decided if you're going to base ride or if you're going to tech ride the season, the thing you need to be doing up next is plan your season as much as possible in advance. There's a few ways of doing this. You can watch, obviously watch all of the sneak peeks that we BoomTubers put out. Um, we always show the tech tree and the base layouts, um, the deck layouts, all that sort of thing. We show all of that in those sneak peek videos. So you've got a couple of days before the season even starts where you can be, you know, sort of looking at the tree and maybe working out what you think is the best route and to get to that effective tech if you're tech riding. Or if you plan on base riding, it kind of doesn't matter too much, but you you know, you get you, I mean, plan as much as you can, read the tech tree in advance, uh, see if you can recognize the long game, what the end game meta is going to be, and how you can get to it effectively and stuff. So as you're moving through the season, uh, you not need to recognize when to unlock certain things um, over, say, unlocking something else. For example, if uh, you want to get to, say, shock launchers or rocket launchers, um, but you've got to go through scorchers and mechs to get to them. Is it worth wasting those keys on scorchers and mechs and then the, sh you know, like the rocket launchers or whatever? Is it worth wasting those keys on those two um, pointless pieces of tech just to get shock launchers or rocket launchers right now? Or can you wait until later in the season when they will be a bit more effective? Maybe you picked up some defensive building damage or, you know, um, a damage amp or something that will make them a lot more potent. And a lot more effective can you wait and hold off using those keys until that time comes because if you do what happens is you get to use those extra keys to get that little bit further in the tree over the players that are going to waste those keys early on to get to those uh, tech items uh, straight away instead of waiting and playing a slightly longer game so when it comes to those players when you match up with those players yes they might have rocket launchers or shock launchers but you're probably going to have the better tech and the tech advantage because you've uh, wasted, you know, you've used your keys more effectively and got to the better tech uh, quicker, or you can probably get to the next ER sooner than what they will, and then there'll be one of those players where they'll be complaining that they're matching against players who've got more ERs than them because 
that are taking longer to move up um, with the rest of the guys who are pushing up. So as you're playing through the season, you need to recognize the times of when to push and when to hide in the bushes and just collect chests. If you are being out teched or if you find yourself being matched against players who have a lot more ERs than you and you're not quite ready to jump and stuff, it's best then to hide. And that means literally just playing to grab your chests as and when you can. So once you get three chests available, come on, do your battles, take the losses, even if you need to take the losses. If you win, great. But if you don't, it's not a biggie. Take those losses, just grab those chests and sit on those keys and tokens until you are ready or until you can unlock the uh, effective tech that you need. And then once you get that effective tech or that or that next ER jump, then you can push when you start getting win after win after win. Those are the times when you need to sit down and crank out more attacks, more battles. Um, even if you've got no chests to earn on the time chest, just cranking those battles out anyway is what you need to do when it's those times when you are winning most, most of all. The idea with this is, is if you just sat there playing away, playing away, playing away, but you're not winning or you're not winning more than you're losing, what's going to happen is your win percentage is going to suffer and you're going to slip backwards down trophy road, which both of those situations aren't good if you're looking to progress and move on or even go for a leadable position only doing enough battles just to get your just to get those chests and to grab those keys and stuff will limit that damage on rank stars and um, win percentage and all that sort of stuff as well so keep that in mind when recognize when to hide recognize when to push and when it's time to push push when it comes to your layout you need to try and create a strong layout obviously as the seasons go on everybody ends up with very similar layouts because they become the meta layouts, which is fine. If you find yourself struggling against those layouts, build one yourself. Obviously, um, you want you know you want as strong as layout as possible. But try to keep it as original as you can. Make some tweaks to it. Make it your own. Don't just keep a carbon copy of a base layout that is working well for other people. Because lots of people have attacked those layouts. They get worked out within a couple of days, and before you know it, you'll be losing again anyway. So keep your, your uh, deck layout evolving, keep it changing, keep changing things, keep it fresh. The fresher and more creative and more um, unique you can be, the better. How many times have you been playing and you come across a layout and you've gone, hmm, I haven't seen one like this before. And you've got to take a step back and just think about it for a minute. And chances are you probably lose against those layouts that make you think because then you overthink it and then you make mistakes or you hit it in a way that's not optimal because it hasn't been worked out by everybody already. Those original unique bases are the ones that are perfect. You get you a few more wins, um, even while you're uh, hiding in the bushes, collecting chests. The thing you don't want to be doing though is uh, copying global number one's um, layout because it won't work for you unless you are you know way up there on the leaderboard already. Um, in which case then you probably already know all this stuff anyway but if you're down in like rank 16 17 if you're going to try and copy global number one who's at legendary one or high up in the diamond tiers and stuff those layouts won't work for you because they're going to have a completely different tech layout to what you have they're probably going to have less defenses but more offense um they'll have more chests more rank chests and things like that than you so you need to pick a layout that is being used in your rank pool and then, like I said, evolve it, make it your own and stuff. So looking at the leaderboard is okay, but you're better off copying um, your opponent's layouts rather than somebody from higher up on the leaderboard. This is going to be a controversial one, but always place your ERs, guys. How many times have you seen in the season where people aren't putting out all their ERs? Well, sorry to tell you all, it's a massive disadvantage to not put out your ERs. Would you uh, take on a foot race against somebody and give them a 50 meter head start in a 100 meter race of course not because they're giving a head start they're going to win right there are very rare occasions and seasons where there is a barty matter where bar in er's is the matter we've all seen those seasons but there is a very rare instance where you need to um clear or bar a certain number of er's with a certain number of defenses to be able to bar out the last er which is like part of the main strategy on in those very rare instances not placing an er would be an advantage because you'd be depriving your opponent of that gbe that's needed to part of the strategy to be able to bark the last er by depriving them of that er then they'd have to use troops for the final er in that battle 
but those seasons are so few and far between and it's so rare to see that really you should be putting out your ERs on every single time you jump. Don't be silly and don't give your opponents the head start like that. I know some people are going to say, oh, well, those players who do that are depriving me of ERs to get my chest. So what? They're giving you a win. That's three stars. Help you move up trophy road. Get you into the higher ranks where the better rewards are anyway and leave them to think that they're doing great. It's not an advantage, so don't do it. Okay, then towards the end of the season then guys don't be afraid to park up early especially if you're at a higher rank than what you've say you know a personal best that you've got to the highest rank you've ever got to don't be afraid to park up and then just hold that star position until next season to get a better start on the next season that better start will serve you better than what uh losing a bunch of stars will now to try and gain just a couple of extra stars at the end of this season where it's going to have no extra reward for you no extra payoff to have those few extra stars now at the end of the season but have keeping the stars that you've got right now will definitely see you in a better start for the next season so don't be afraid to park early especially if you're you know at the point where you think you're done really well you don't want to lose that that progress just put the brakes on park out and wait for next season Okay, let's jump into some top tips. My first top tip, obviously, if you are looking at the tech tree and you want to plan out your season and stuff, use the BBTFRG calculator. That's available to download from our Facebook, our Discord, and our Telegram channels. That calculator right there will allow you to basically spend your keys on tech items and see how many keys you've got left over. You'll be able to spend tokens and see what tokens you've got left over as if you were doing it in-game but you're not doing it in game. So if you make a mistake, you can just roll it back. So you can practice what you want to do on the tech tree before you actually do it for real to make sure that you've got enough keys, got enough tokens, um, enough tech level, all of that kind of stuff. You can just practice it with the calculator before you do it for real. Don't make those mistakes. Not only that, you can try out two or three different strategy ideas or two or three different tech paths, all that kind of stuff. Using the calculator is a huge advantage especially when you mix it with um, Op Destroy's ultimate planner that he puts up in his Telegram channels. Um, both of those resources right there are huge for helping you plan your season. So make the most of it, get them downloaded. Next tip then is if you are in game and you're battling away and you're win streaking, or if you're winning more than you're not and you're collecting chests, if you are getting close to the point where you might be moving up tiers from say iron to gold or from gold to diamond, don't collect those chests especially if you're winning because one you don't need to collect them if you're winning you, you know your tech that you've got right now is more than good enough already so just keep battling on with what you've got and save those chests um as they are because when you move up say from gold to diamond once you've moved up to diamond then collect them because then you get those few extra keys and those few extra tokens just gives you that little bit more leeway and resources to play with through your season so keep, keep in mind where you are on trophy road whilst you're your chest collecting because if you can collect your chests in a higher rank obviously that's aces okay next tip then if you're ever unsure of what the next best thing to unlock is for you personally with your check choices so far your position on trophy road all that kind of stuff don't overthink things maybe go and check out a couple of forum posts maybe a couple of videos on youtube ask your task force members all that kind of stuff just take a step back think about it ask some people read up some stuff before doing so maybe you make a better choice and have a better season than what you would maybe if you were just sort of rushed in okay then up next don't be afraid to jump er's as soon as you can we see this all the time on facebook people who are um stacking you know they got like 3,000 keys and 20 million upgrade tokens and they're still stuck in two or three er and it's do i jump to three er now and you're thinking well you should probably jump to three er two weeks ago you know don't be afraid to jump up er's as soon as you can especially early on in the season the earlier you can move up to an er next er level especially early in the season the better having that extra er even if you get no more tech after it just having that extra er is an advantage especially in the first couple of days of the season a bit later on in the season it might be worth um holding off jumping up if you need to make sure that you've got enough keys to get some specific part of the tech tree that's um, part of that er section um to be to remain competitive then obviously save those keys before jumping but you don't need to jump with you know 
thousands of keys and hundreds of millions of tokens and stuff just enough for what you need and then jump because the sooner you can jump and have that er advantage the better the longer you wait to jump the less impact that er jump will have on your season and you won't be able to capitalize and get a push point a push window um to make the most of it also stacking hundreds of thousands of keys and tokens and all that kind of stuff is whilst you're doing that and still climbing ranks that is when you are starting getting huge mismatches with you know you'll have like three uh and you'll get matched with a six and that would be because you've increased your rank to a point where you're in that matchmaking pool and there's so few players at that rank at your er level that it's got to match you with somebody so it's going to match you with someone with more ERs. If you find yourself asking the question which tech item should i choose next uh the best thing you can do is look at your opponent's replays this can't be overstated enough looking at your opponent's replays is super important for both defense and offense if you're trying to learn how to take down um a specific meta layout watching them attack your bet your layout if you're using the same similar layout watching them attack your layout will help you understand how to take it down yourself we'll also show you how to um counter those attacks better um defensively so if you're looking at the tech tree thinking should i get cannons or should i get rocket launchers see what you're being attacked with mo most watch all of your replays if you're being attacked with something that the rocket launchers are going to be better against then you get rocket launchers if not then you go for the other thing you pick whatever's best at countering what you're being attacked with most at that time okay for the last tip don't be afraid to change up your strategy mid-season because quite often what happens is you'll start the season with this plan in mind and you'll jump to three uh, and everybody else will be doing something completely different and your plan will just fall through the cranks and you'll think oh my god i'm in trouble don't worry because you can change up your your season anytime you can change um tactics and strategies just take a minute use the tech calculator that we've given out for you for each season work out what's the best way to use the keys and tokens to adapt and change your strategy as and when you need to okay then guys like i said at the start of the video the bonus tip is join the community i know this video is in the boom box so i know it's going to reach quite a few people who probably aren't in the wider community for boom beach joining the community is probably the biggest tip you will get overall we've got places like facebook there's a few facebook groups obviously bbtfrg is our group um it's the big one with fourteen thousand members so come and hang out with us there's loads of people on facebook who love warships that's obviously place number one there are other facebook groups as well obviously um there's hopper network on telegram um there's ship with a plan if you are a regular visitor to the warships leaderboard then ship with a plan will be more than happy to you know take your application to join their ch their channel and group and stuff on telegram where uh, most of the global leaderboard players um, especially the main english speaking global leaderboard players are hanging out share tactics and strategies and stuff and you know follow following those channels on there is is a gold mine for information about the current season both before and during the season so following those places is is key so like i said we've got i have a group on facebook and we've got our discord and our telegram as well but you've got hopper network on telegram and then places like ship with a plan and sugar ship which is skull crushers warships task force but they're all resource extra resources where there's loads of information for people to make the most of before during and after the seasons as well so take a peek at those guys i know i've uh, sort of fired off a whole load of information to you really fast like that but um maybe go back rewatch the video if you've got any any questions hit us up in the comments if you think i've missed anything then obviously again hit us up in the comments if you've got any extra tips and stuff that you think are relevant to help people in warships we'd love to hear them and maybe we can uh, update the video in a couple of months and i'll add them in as well so but um in the meantime guys we'd appreciate you smashing that like and subscribe use our creative code bbtfrg in the creative boost box all of that good stuff but uh yeah thanks for watching guys good luck on warships and i will catch you in the next one peace